The Ritual? We're watching The Ritual on Netflix. But what you're about to see is first glide cam test footage uh, ever for me. Ready? I try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me Now before I get into this, I have to talk about Britney's bandana, or I guess Yuki's bandana that Britney made. So recently, Britney found a, an Instagram account for a company called Pine and Bone, and they specialize, I guess they, all they do is make bandanas for dogs. Britney tells me it's like 20, it's like 22 bucks, 23 bucks for a bandana for the dog, and that sounded crazy. I told her uh, I could do it, my mom could do it, and uh, it gave her the confidence to, to try it out. She ended up going down to Fabricland, buying uh, some ladybug print fabric. Ah, oh, you, you have burrs in your tail. She ended up going to uh, buy some ladybug printed fabric and decided to give it a go. Uh, so here's Brittany making a bandana for you. You'll put it on. Okay, come here. Okay, sit. Stay. And this is it. This is this is the bandana. Uh, it's made out of glue and fabric, and that's it. Uh, Brittany followed this uh, YouTube tutorial on how to do it with glue. It turned out okay. Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see it on Yuki and see how Yuki likes it. Come here, right here, right here. Sit. You're too fluffy. Oh. Can you even see it? Can you guys even see that? How she look? Can I like it? I don't think she likes it. It looks fine, but she's too fluffy. Yuki too has too much fluff.
So this is the newer Glycam. I think they call it a... So I think Glycam's actually like a brand. I think Glycam is the brand and Flycam or Steadicam is the thing. I think it's like a, a Colgate toothpaste uh, Kleenex tissue kind of deal. Let me, let me just take a look here. Got it. Okay, newer aluminum handheld stabilizer. Okay, yeah, so the Glycam is a is the is the brand this is a stabilizer all right so just like any any other glide cam out there uh or glide cam knockoff it's got the uh gimbal head the adjustable mounts and uh, uh i guess it's a almost like a universal plate but it doesn't fit on uh all of the manfrotto uh all the manfrotto heads it works just like any other uh glide cam uh except it's it's kind of it i don't know man i don't know this cost 70 dollars i got it uh, from Amazon and versus a uh, $800 uh, Glidecam 2000, I would say this is this is good for newbies. For newbies who just want steady footage, I'd say just do this. You're not you're not a professional. You're not going to be making hajillions of dollars um, filming things. And unless if you are, then by all means, definitely get get a Glidecam. But if you're not, if you're just making dumb YouTube videos trying to film your dog and your girlfriend. Uh, you might want to just buy a $70 one. So the bottom part of this thing has weights. It comes with like six or I think eight. It comes with eight weights total of uh, varying sizes. You just use it to counterbalance uh, the camera and the type of lens you plan to use. So in my case, I've got, or what I shoot with is a uh, GH5. I used to have the JD5. I, I changed to the GH5 and I have the uh, Lumix uh, 12 to 35 f2.8 version two. And I have to set this up, this top plate as far back as possible uh, so that it offsets the, the weight of the lens. Uh, the footage I shot uh, earlier uh, with Yuki and Brittany in the park, it was with the mic off of the camera. And I'm finding myself, I don't know if, can you see this? I hope you can. I'm finding that I have to have these weights uh, not balanced or not even. So I've got like a half, half weight on the front and a full-sized weight on the rear to offset the lens. And when I see people using this uh, glide cam or other glide cams on YouTube, they've got equal uh, amounts of weights and the weights are just moved either forward or back to do the offset. And I think I think that maybe that's a problem for me. While I'm turning with this glide cam, it's wobbling as I as I turn, but it doesn't wobble as I as I walk forward. But if, if, I, if I shift left or right, I find it, it starts to wobble. And that might be because this is I, I just don't have, I probably don't have it balanced properly. Like if you YouTube or do reading on how people balance the glide cams on new setups for them, it, they say it could take hours. And really I spent, I don't know, I practice like pretty much every day, putting the camera on, putting it on, taking it off, trying to get balanced every day. So, so that's, that's pretty much it. I plan to pr obviously practice with this more and uh, use this more in a lot of my footage. This thing's getting out of hand though. Like I just want to shoot cool videos of my dog. You know, I find myself like wishing I had steadier footage and this was just the next step. Like, where does it stop? Like, where does this, where does this stop? Where does all this gear stop? Man, I should do, I should do a gear video. Or like, oh, it's in my bag video. Cause it's, it's getting out of hand. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show this off. Plan to do more practice, practicing with it. I hope you guys don't get bored of, who gets bored of steady footage though, right? Everyone wants steady footage. You guys don't want wobbly footage. That's the video for this, this week. I hope you hope you enjoyed it, guys. Yuki, you want to say bye? Is she sleeping? Yeah, Yuki's sleeping beside me. All right, goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching.